Hello, and welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, we are going to be running the first half of Route 20 today. And we're going to be facing, I think, three, five, something like five to seven trainers on this portion of the route on our way to the Sea Foam Islands. Um, now, before we get too far, uh, I'm going to be facing these three swimmer chicks here. And as you notice, their battle sprite, they have blonde hair. Whereas their overworld sprite will have green hair. And I'm not sure exactly why that is. I am pretty sure that their overworld sprite is actually supposed to have blonde hair as well. But I think it's a combination of the blue water and their yellow hair causing them to kind of look green. Now, I actually quite like this sprite just because it kind of makes it seem like there's a little bit of a background story you can build up around the character themselves. Um, you know, that they, they, they spend their time practicing for their ocean swim by going to like pools and recreation centers and such and swimming in these highly chlorinated pools and it turns out it's a dye job. They're not natural blondes and so their dye is being contaminated by the chlorine in the water and turning green. We're going to level up a bit, of course, on the way here while we fight these trainers. And like I said, it's just going to be the first half of this route. Um, this video is about 15 minutes long. And it's all battles with trainers. Oh, battle time, right? Um, I'm actually doing this post-commentary, so I recorded the video and now I'm trying to do some post-commentary stuff. And seeing if it just turns out a little better than just gabbing at you while I'm playing the game. Uh, the battles for these swimmer trainers really aren't too difficult, even if you haven't really been grinding. As long as you have a couple of decent uh, team members who are not going to go down to one strike by a water attack or something like that, of course. Uh, I'm pretty much going to be running Jolty on this whole time. Vileplume, like I, you know, my Vileplume would be another good one, but I don't think he has too many moves that are available. You know, so, there you go, there's all that. I haven't uh, talked about it too much, but I have been very excited for Violet and Scarlet to come out. Um, I, I haven't really been looking too much up on it, though, besides the initial trailer that came out. I actually really like that initial trailer, um, and I watched it on my channel while I was playing something, I think. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a very, um, it was a very like energetic kind of feeling I had when I watched it. But I haven't really looked up too much information. I haven't really been watching YouTube about the new games. And, and that's because it's just kind of how I do it for games that I really want to play. I'll usually avoid um, story spoilers and stuff like that. And for Pokemon, I try to avoid, for the most part, seeing too many of the new Pokemon that are available in the game. Because I have a lot of fun running into them and being like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Uh, like the, the, for instance, Legends Arceus. I didn't really know too much about that game when I got it to play it. I didn't really know too much about the few new Pokemon they added in, uh, or the Husqvarna forms, right? And I'm kind of glad because it's fun to come across something like that in a game and be like, oh, this is really interesting. So yeah, so I haven't really seen too much about the new games coming out, even though, you know, because I watched the trailer, I did see the three starters. I have already chosen which starter I'm going to start with when I get the game. Uh, we're going to go for the uh, Grass Cat, of course, because Grass Cat was super goddamn cute. Uh, I, I <laughs> honestly, um, I usually pick the starter that I think is the cutest or I have the closest affinity to for whatever reason. So, like the original games. Uh, I, I think I've usually chose uh, 
grass starters a lot. I, I usually start the game with either the grass or the water starter, generally. Uh, I think, like, you know, Squirtle and Blastoise. I like Turtles, so probably had a Turtle originally. Um, I'm sure I played one of the original games using a Charizard, just because dragons raw, right? Um, I know the second generation, though, um, for Gold, Silver, Crystal, I started the game with... Thank you. Grass Starter. I started the game with the Grass Starter my first time playing. Um, just because I thought it was kind of cute. It, it, uh, uh, that's in the quote. Uh, Chikorita looks like something you would hug, right? It just looks huggable. Um, then, what was it? Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald? Let's see. Those are what? Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald are... Pokemon are Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. I can't remember offhand right now. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Ah, oh, I can't remember. Now, Platinum, I definitely started with Turtwig. I keep telling you, I, I told a lot of people that, you know, Blastoise has a special place in my heart, but Turtwig's whole evolutionary line are probably some of my favorite Pokemon overall. I really like the, um, uh, the final evolution. Uh, I always end up calling it Bowser, so I can never remember what it's called offhand until I actually am playing it. Like, I see it in my head, right? But Turtwig, Grovile, and uh, uh, Grobble? Grobble? I don't remember. I should have taken better notes when I went to do this. Oh, well. Uh, but I like the I like that whole line. I like the uh, symbolism and all that kind of stuff, too, with that line, where it seems to be a symbol of, you know, the land and power and blah, 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 right? So after Diamond Pearl would have been... Oh, man, what was after that? Black and White, I think, were next. And I actually didn't play those until very recently. I actually just recently finished um, Black and Black 2 uh, on my own, playing at night, you know, when, or when I wake up early in the morning or something like that. A lot of fun with those games. Um, I definitely uh, enjoyed those games a lot more than I did when I first bought them. I never finished them when I first bought them. And I just bought them because Pokemon games, right? I never sat down and played them. Unfortunately, I don't remember the starters very well for those games. Those are games that uh, I, I haven't really gone back to. Um, let me think here. Yeah, I can't recall. I not recall for life of me. Uh, after that is X. Not X. Was X and Y after that? Let's think. Let me run through my head here. So we have Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, uh, Silver, Diamond Pro Platinum, Black, Black, Two. Yeah, and then I think it went on to the, the 3DS, so that would have been X and Y. Um, it would have been Ultra Sun and or Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. And let's see, X and Y, I'm actually playing Y right now, uh, during my own time. I, I'm on the sixth gym right now. And Kind of going through and just trying to capture all the Pokemon. I want to see if I can't get a uh, nearly full living decks uh, between X and Y, um, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and uh, the Sun and Moon games. I want to see how close to an actual full living decks I can run uh, between those 3DS games. So that'll be something I'm doing on my own time here and there. Uh, X and Y have been a lot of fun, but they definitely don't hold my attention as much as uh, a lot of the other games do. I find myself playing that game for very short bursts of time. Um, the story so far is kind of interesting. Hasn't really gotten into too much by the sixth gym. You know that team player is a thing and they're doing something. Uh, you know that the the you know who the major bad guy is and you. Another shit going on behind the scenes, but what I have been enjoying about this game is uh, the there's not a lot of lore. It, you know, like I'm sure there is, maybe I'm missing it. I'm talking to all the NPCs and all that kind of stuff as I run into them, so I'm sure there's a lot of lore to be found that I'm somehow missing. Like there's been mentions of a legend finally and the legendaries and uh, all that kind of stuff, but 
there is a lot of world building uh, in the game that's very enjoyable. But it doesn't hold my attention as much uh, as some of the other games have. But it is still a game that I would like to finish. I, I want to see how this goes. And I want to play the post-game in it. Um, even if it's not a big post-game. I didn't really enjoy Black's post-game. Black 2's post-game was pretty fun. But Black's, I just kind of, meh. And I, I, I still have to finish the post-game for that, eventually. I enjoyed the actual game itself. So. Uh, what am I hoping for in the new games, though? I'm hoping the villain comes back. The uh, villain is a very interesting Pokemon. It premiered in... Black, Black 2, actually, that, that premiered in those games. And it is a very interesting form uh, variation Pokemon. By form variation, I mean, like, there are sometimes gender differences. We have the evolution differences, depending on region. And there are some Pokemon that just look different. Like, I think there's four million different variations of Spinda you can get. Um... And that's all based on probability and all that changes where the spots are a little bit here and there. The villain had, I think, 15 different forms. And uh, I have all but one. And the way that you would get these different variations and forms of the villain were depending on region. So you had to trade with people around the world. Uh, in the region I am, I get the Tundra version. Uh, there were couple of special Pokemon that you could only get uh, variations of by going to Pokemon centers in Japan. I managed to get both of those via train. Uh, a Pokeball variation and a Fiesta variation. Very, they're, they're both really cool looking. And then you have like just different, it's wing patterns is what changes. And so I have all but one of the wing patterns out of Japan and I'm missing the monsoon pattern. Uh, which kind of sucks because with the villain being locked in Pokemon Home for me currently, or in the 3DS games where you can still do trading and such. Uh, it's just very difficult to get a hold of uh, someone who wants to trade those kind of Pokemon because there's some issues with the GTS. Like, I can find them in the GTS, and you'll be like, oh, I want, uh, like, you know, people putting up the forms are like, oh, I just want like a Zigzagoon or whatever. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And so you go to trade and trade won't go through for whatever reasons. And uh, there's there's a couple of things I found online for why that might be. And it's basically due to the GTS not being cleared out as much as it needs to be since these games are, you know, relics of the past. Or there was a hacker who hacked Pokemon that would crash the GTS. And so sometimes you'll scroll through and you'll run across a Pokemon, and as you look at it, it crashes your game. Which sucks. But yeah, so I'm missing the Monsoon Pattern for Villain. I have every other one. I have some extra of the base form, because you can change the region of your 3DS. Uh, like, I can change it to pretty much anywhere US related, since I live in the United States. So I can get all the US region variants very easily. I just, I, that's that's where it ends for me, unfortunately. Anyways. Uh, so th that's my hope, is that the villain comes back so I can I can use it. And, you know, hopefully Pokemon Home becomes available for the games and all that stuff very shortly too. Because that's a gripe I'm having. My Pokemon are stuck in Pokemon Home with me unable to use them in almost any game. Um, the villain. Anyways, everyone, we're pretty much at uh, done here with this last trainer in front of Seafoam, and we'll be heading into the cave, and the next time you see us, and you join me, we'll be going through the Seafoam Caves to go catch us an Articuno and exit to get done with the last half of Route 20, which will be the video after. So next video of Seafoam, after that, we're going to finish Route 20. We're going to go ahead and go through Cinnabar and get our uh, second to last badge, then we're gonna be hitting up one island. So I hope you guys join me again. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. I'll see you around.